As a society, we are devolving. Everyone is looking to see the next train wreck. I was um, looking at social media and I was looking at people who are putting out constructive, advisable content. They don't get the they don't get the views. Yesterday I was speaking with some neighbors. One of my neighbors is a social media influencer. And she uses a site called Bigo. B-I-G-O. Bigo. It's an app where you live stream. And I've been studying this whole app for like the last two days. And because you literally can download the app and you go on there and you see nothing and it's all over the stuff it's like and I'm looking at the periodicals uh, these were learning resources educational resources now these things still exist but they exist in the school neighborhood school kids are doing this stuff not so much the normal kids but when I was growing up this was something that was available to every child regardless of where they lived and there was these periodicals. I can't even remember the name of them. There was like Dynamite. There was some other stuff. There was these fun things and cereal boxes. Let's talk about cereal boxes. I don't think they do that anymore. When I was a kid, it was a thing to collect cereal box tops and then send them in and you would get a prize. And I remember I bought, I collected all of these Captain Crunch cereal boxes and I got a Captain Crunch kite. The sucker was huge, man, and it really got up in the sky. And do kids still fly kites today? I'm just curious because I, I have not seen a kite in the sky in forever. So do kids still fly kites? I'm just curious. And one of the things I'm seeing with the social media, and this, this is the thing, and to a degree, I am part of the social media savages. I make a lot of money on social media. And what people see is the lifestyle, the things that I can buy. And then people like, I'm going to tell you something. And I, I honestly, I've been thinking about this. I've really, really been thinking about this. I think there is a degree of luck. In becoming popular on social media I don't think there's a formula for becoming popular on social media unless you have a lot of money you have a lot of money and you can buy influencers who can recommend your Instagram page or YouTube page I, I will tell you this is one way that you could grow your YouTube channel very quickly but it's a, it's, it's a little problematic if you pick a niche on YouTube and then you start messaging all of the people in your YouTube niche. And if they will start giving you recommendations, your channel will grow really quick. But there, there's a problem with that because a lot of these people won't do it. They just simply won't do it for various reasons. But that is one of the quickest ways that you can get your YouTube or Instagram page to grow. And if someone like someone has a page and let's say they have a page or a YouTube channel and they have 1.5 million subscribers. If they give you a shout out, you could literally get 10, 20, 30,000 subscribers in one day. One day, if they give you a shout out. And what I think is happening is that the social media influencers are becoming very, very savvy and they know the power that they have. Because when I used to go to Vid Summit, and I was out in California, I would see YouTubers with billboards. And there are YouTube channels that get more views than cable television channels. There are you, this, this is true, you can look it up. So with this social media savagery, uh, people are moving towards becoming a social media influencer because, all right, let's just talk about it. Um, I got a new camera here. I, I spent like $12,000 
last week on new camera gear and stuff. Because, you know, this is one of the things that I consistently do. I phase out my old cameras. Like, I'll tell you a story. I should have given it to you guys, but I didn't think about it until it was too late. But the GoPro that I did the video on and the audio was so horrible, I just gave it away because GoPros, old GoPros, old electronics are hard to sell. They're just hard to sell because people want the latest and the greatest and the best and the better and you know so on and so forth, right? So I just gave them away and they went, they disappeared really quick. And one of the things that I do since social media has been really good to me. I mean, like this camera and lens was $5,000. I will do that in a heartbeat. I got another drone coming. The drone was $2,700. And I got another lens. And funny thing that happens. Um, first time this has ever happened to me. Uh, one night I was in my office and I heard this thump. And I come out here and I see that my Sony A7S III had fallen over and it broke. It broke the door and it chipped the door. And since I've been using my YouTube stuff, I'm kind of peculiar about my gear. And it just kept bothering me and bothering me that it was broken. It still worked. I still made videos on it. Uh, that's probably the best video camera to use in my car. Because I got the GoPro for cars, but to get that crispy, buttery video, that super sharp video and that super sharp audio, I gotta use that camera. So what I did last night is I put my broken camera on eBay and I had another one, which is right there. I got another one. <laughs> you know, this is the stuff that I do because I have no problem spending this kind of money for gear. You know, many people, they wanna start a YouTube channel and they wanna use their iPhone. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna I'm gonna tell you something about that. iPhone video can be very unpredictable. I did a video using my iPhone and it, I couldn't get it off the phone into my computer. So for YouTube and years and years ago, I started shooting in 4K. Everything I do is in 4K. And that is, um, I wanted to uh, future proof my videos because 4K, I can, play it on that television right there if I wanted to. But social media is a real thing. Social media, there are people who are making millions from social media. And one of the things that happened with me in the car rental business, the car rental business was such a heavy demand upon my time that I kind of pulled, you know, I didn't have time to really do my YouTube the way that I like to do it. And now that I'm gotten rid of the car business. I noticed that the YouTube videos are getting better because I have the quality, I have the audio and everything. But social media savage, savagery, I feel going forward is the future. It is the future. This is going to be the future. And what's funny is there's only going to be a few winners. I, and th this is so funny because people don't like to be completely objective. I, I put up a video on the uh, corporate game talking about, you know, Cooper, Co Cooper Cup, who I feel had the best wide receiver uh, season. And virtually no one heard of him. You know, people who play fantasy football, they had him on their fantasy team. They loved him. But virtually no one heard him. I, I made the... Uh, comparison that if Cooper Cup was black, he would be a household name. And then the person's like, you're going to ignore all of the quarterbacks and the owners. And I'm like, dude, it is expected. Once again, I, I said on this YouTube channel that in about 10 years, the majority of NFL quarterbacks will be black. And you, we're seeing it. We're seeing it. We're seeing that there's a lot of black quarterbacks who are starting quarterbacks. And there's a lot of black quarterbacks who are, are backup quarterbacks but for the longest time it was thought that a black quarterback could not succeed in the NFL so you know the whole video was about expectations about expectations if so if a white dude or even an Asian dude owns an NFL team that's kind of like oh but if Magic Johnson or 
Michael Jordan on the NBA team, it would be international news because it's not an expect it's not an expectation for black folks to be doing stuff like that. And this is one of the things that I'm about to get into with social media. There's a black social media and there's a white social media. There's an Asian social media. There's a Japanese social media. There's a Korean social media. There's a Vietnam and there's a Australia. Literally every country has its own version of social media and every country has its social media stars. And what I see, cause like the app that I'm talking about, B-I-G, big O, B-I-G, literally I signed up and I've got like 100 people following me already. I, I streamed and I was just like, just working. And once again, if you, now I have seen the differences because one of the things is you guys may not see me ever do a live stream on this channel again. I will probably do live streams at Hustlers Kung Fu and I'm going to tell you why. YouTube algorithm. Mr. Beast, he doesn't do live streams. Graham Stephan, he doesn't do live streams. There's a reason. Uh, live streams reset your channel. And if you go ahead and start consistently doing live streams and your channel takes off, guess what? You got to consistently do live streams because I have seen this happen. I've seen YouTubers with a million subscribers and then they would do a live stream and it would, they wouldn't get that many, they wouldn't get that many people on their live stream. They just wouldn't. And then I've seen people who have do exclusively the live stream and then they'll do a regular video and the regular video doesn't get traction. So you got to be really, really careful because in this social media world, you got to know what works and what doesn't work. Since Facebook bought Instagram, Instagram hasn't been the same. I remember starting multiple Instagram accounts and getting up to 10, 20, 30,000 followers in just a matter of a few months, organically. Once Facebook bought it, that went away. Now you got to go ahead and have other Instagrammers give you shout outs or you're just gonna languish. You're just not gonna grow. You're just not going to really do that much in terms of social media but social media i can say is an active viable way to make money if you know how to do it because last year my youtube income was sixty five thousand dollars between the three channels this year my youtube income is going to probably be it's going to be six figures it's going to be over six figures. So this is the first time that I've actually paid attention to my YouTube income because my consulting business, my online course business income has literally, I have made more money with my online course business in one week than I've made in YouTube in a whole year. So with those kind of numbers, I'm just like, eh, I'm not really paying attention. But now what's happening is you've got to get on social media and you've got to learn how social media works because uh, like big o go ahead download the app and stuff and you will see the madness and there are many people on there who are not trying to make money they're trying to get attention now i understand that if you get attention the presumption is that you will make money but that's not necessarily true because if you get the wrong attention, you put up the wrong content, you stream the wrong way, you're not gonna get the results that you want to. And I've seen, there are some people on there who are singers and they just sing during their live stream and they just sing their little hearts out and they get money. They get money. So going forward, you're gonna have people and I want you to walk with me as I spitball on this. You're gonna have someone graduate high school and become a social media star and never ever work a normal job. That is already happening. You have people who are getting on social media and they're making more money than their parents. And like, so I'm over here on Lou and live stream, I'm Instagramming, I'm doing this stuff and I'm making 150K a year and you're telling me to go get a job where I can make 30K a year. Uh, no, that ain't gonna work. Because these people are going to become 
irrevocably altered where they can't like like I said um, you know this isn't a talk about the metaverse because I think the metaverse there will be people who will make money with the metaverse but they're already positioned to make money like uh, folks from scratch who like me like um, the corporate game YouTube channel is two months old and I'm about two or three more videos away from being monetized. Now, why is that important? I've seen videos of people who've been posting videos to YouTube for a year and they can't get monetized. One of the reasons that I was able to get, you know, and I got Savage Finance when they were Savage, I got that monetized in two months. Why? Because I didn't have to start from scratch. See, that's the big thing. You know, if you just start something like Kelly Stamps, if you, you know, Kelly Stamps has a ton of personality. She has a ton of personality. She's a very pretty girl, which helps, which helps a lot. Kelly is fucking pretty. I mean, and she's slim. Now, why do I say that? Because Kelly Stamps is black, right? But Kelly Stamps is pretty, feminine, and she's skinny. She's slim. Let's say, because she got a little booty on she's slim so she pulls in black folks and she pulls in white folks because she doesn't have the typical black girl badonka donk you know she's more relatable and kelly stamps has fans of every hue and that's the game because this is what many black youtubers many black youtubers content is literally dripping black it's like, it's for black folks, it's by black folks, you know, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but walk with me. In 2009, I made money mostly from white folks because I was talking about resale. Black folks were in, not into resale like they are now. It wasn't a thing. And because I was able to cross over and have white customers and Asian customers and customers in other countries, I made a lot of money. So. If you are a black YouTuber, I'll give you an example of a black YouTuber who most of his audience is white. Colin Noor, the gun guy, the, the, uh, the gun advocate for, uh, I think he was with, I forget the name of the company, but he was with them and I think he's on his own now. But social media is so huge right now it is getting so big and for many people social media is going to be the difference between eating and not eating there's going to be a lot of social media's people who are going to make 1500 to 3000 a month which is remarkable that you can come home turn on the camera sit in your house make a video make some content and make enough money to feed yourself that's remarkable and I feel going forward, cause like, uh, you know, she was telling me that um, there's more streaming apps and I'm going to investigate them. I'm going to, cause one of the things I'm gonna do with Hustler Kung Fu is I'm going to investigate money-making opportunities. And once again, I gotta be really, really careful with that because I can't get into something that's gonna take a ton of my time. But I'm going to look at this live streaming thing because to make the money, I'm going to have to become an official host. And, I'm, you know, even though from a sensibility perspective, it's not my jam, but I am not obtuse enough to ignore the potential money making opportunities of this social media thing. Because I see people on there and there was one guy who was preaching. He had on the white robe, he was preaching, he had the cross, he was talking about this and this and this. He was literally preaching a sermon on live stream. And I think he had like 7,000 people tuned in. That's a lot of people for a live stream. That's a lot of people. The most people I've ever had tuned into one of my live streams most ever was like a thousand was a thousand so he had seven thousand in the middle of the day on his live stream i don't know where he is but he has seven thousand and he had all of the because th th this is the thing like i know nothing about big o b-i-g-e-o by b b-i-g-o i know nothing about it and when you get in there 
it looks like a hot mess, but all of these things mean something. The little icons on the page mean something. The beans mean something. The little shield. And when people come in, because uh, they use, because I, I can clearly see that gamification theory is being used on this website because it has all of these little things to give you a little, little jolt of dopamine. Like you enter a room and there's a race car that pops up on the screen. And it's like, here comes so-and-so. So you're, you, you're announced. And one of the things, and this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning, like social media. We're about to get into social media 3.0. We're, we're really going to see some stuff. I'm going to tell you some things that you're going to see with social media. You're going to see an entertainer, probably a singer, who's going to get on social media and she's going to make more money than artists who are signed to a record label. We're already seeing this with comedian, Ha Ha Davis, Country Wayne. Country Wayne makes more money than a lot of what better known professional. Well, he's a professional comic, but Country Wayne, I think he's talking about makes like 300,000 a month as a comedian because of social media. And th like I said, this, this is just the beginning, y'all. This is just the beginning because um, one of the reasons that I got all this new equipment is I'm going to up my social media game i'm going to take it to another level because i know this is crazy but i feel that if i do the right things i can make a meal on social media in addition to my consulting company com consulting money and online course money in addition in addition so i'm about to become a social media savage I'm about to become one of those people. I am about to get into it. I'm about to um, step it up a bit because once again, this is one of the reasons that I always get the new iPhone to stay up to date to the latest and greatest technology like this new camera. I got that camera. I got a new drone coming. And the interesting thing with this drone, this drone I bought in 2017. And I have, you know, last year I lost two drones, right? But the newer drone technology, they fly much further. So I got a new drone that should be here today and I'm gonna get some new stuff. And once I launch this new course and new platform, I'm gonna get into the social media thing. Um, really, really, interesting what you can accomplish what you can do on social media today it is amazing and for those of you who are in the position to be in globally reset once again uh, there is content on social media that's not for me but guarantee you there's an audience for it there's an audience for it it's not I'm not the audience but there's an audience for it and what you're going to see going forward is these audiences are going to grow because with the global reset and people are pecking down, the ratchet audience is going to grow. I mean, I'm, let, me, let me go ahead and tell you what I'm thinking about doing. I am thinking about hiring some people for my production company and um, putting out content through the production company. I'm really thinking about doing that. Because once again, that's one of the reasons I moved here for the backdrops and the background and to do all this other stuff. But social media, once again, World Star, the guy who founded World Star, he actually is dead. Um, he died. But look at World Star. It is hot mess that makes millions and millions of dollars. So you got an option. Like once again, a lot of this stuff ain't for me, but once again, I am not stupid enough to ignore the power. Cause once again, and what helps me is I'm part of social media. YouTube is social media. And like I said, uh, last month I made $12,000 from social media. That's got my attention. That got my attention. This month, it's a little slower because it's after Christmas. 
but I'll probably do 10 because uh, last month I had a lot of videos pop and you know we still got half the month to go some more videos could pop so we could see but I'll, I'll make eight to nine thousand dollars this month which for me pays my bills I want you to think about that not with the online course and just this just YouTube will pay my bills that is crazy that is crazy that is just crazy because I have a new appreciation for YouTube and I'm gonna start posting on pure money a little bit more because if you notice I'm posting here at this Institute of Social Economics this the Institute of Economic Thought my bad Hustlers Kung Fu uh, Disruptive Mail and the corporate game and I'm gonna start posting on because what I'm gonna do is bring savage money back and I probably do that in March if you notice I'm being really strategic and pragmatic and things because uh, once I get this YouTube business rolling 250 a year just from YouTube which is crazy which is crazy but once again and once again I am not the typical youtuber I am 55 years of age and I'm making money here on YouTube so that tells you that social media is for everybody everyone can do social media everyone it ain't easy because you got to develop that following but once you develop a following all bets are off all bets are off so I got something that's gonna be coming for you guys the first of March I'm working on that working on getting my cameras working on my content but once again social media is not to be played with social social media isn't for play play there's a uh, Trey Mo and Keisha who crack me up I watch them all the time and he actually has subscribed to this channel <laughs> that's funny so social media ain't for play play it, it is uh, really really intriguing what's going to happen in the next 10 years with social media it is intriguing all right that's all i got for you guys i'll see you in the next one